Hi, this is Brian from Go Engineer. Today, I want to show you a handy trick that PDM administrators can use to make information easily available to their users at the click of a button on the PDM data card. There are many potential ways to use this valuable technique, and as you'll see, it's really quite simple to implement. Here we see a typical data card for SolidWorks design files. In addition to the usual information fields displayed here, I've added some buttons which link out to web pages containing information that I want my users to be able to access quickly and efficiently from right here in the PDM interface. These two buttons link to web pages which contain valuable engineering resource data readily available on the web. When I click on the fasteners button, my browser pops up with a page full of technical data for a variety of commonly used fasteners. The next button, labeled Materials, brings up a similar page with detailed specifications for a wide selection of materials. Not only is this a very quick and convenient way of making this data available to your engineering users, it also allows you to standardize the technical resources that your engineering staff uses, ensuring that you're all literally working on the same page. Another great use of this method is as a way of making your own PDM processes easier to understand and to learn. This button, labeled View Workflow, brings up an internal page containing an image of the design files workflow itself. This allows users, particularly new users, to easily access an overview of the PDM workflow process, helping them to better understand how to use the SOLIDWORKS PDM vault. Taking this idea further, you could create internal pages with instructional text and even videos which users can get to instantly at the click of a button. What a great way to onboard new users while providing helpful reference information to existing users. Now that we've seen how these buttons can help your PDM users, let's take a look under the hood to see how the technique is implemented. This is the Design Files data card opened in the PDM card editor utility. All I had to do was to add some command buttons available from here on the toolbar to the data card and set the command type to web page. Then I entered the address of the page I wanted to link to in the field below. Since these engineering resource pages are already on the web, entering their addresses completes the setup. The View Workflow button required the extra steps of creating the workflow image and the internal HTML page that I would link to. I placed the image into the Templates folder here in the PDM Vault, and then I created a very simple HTML file that links to the displayed image. Finally, I entered the address of my internal page to the Command button. These few simple steps are all that are required to use this out-of-the-box functionality to customize your data cards for your company's needs. With a little more thought and creativity, I'm sure you can come up with more ideas for expanding the value of your PDM vault by placing information at your user's fingertips, making it all just a click away. <laughs>